Hi, I'm Tenyo Lash Shoboale. Here's your Channel CV Evening News Recap for April the 24th, 2021. President Mohamedou Buhari has condemned the killing of three students of the Greenfield University in Kaduna State by bandits, describing the incident as barbaric. The president, in a statement issued today by his spokesman, Baba Shehu, said the bright youngsters were cut down by evil people in their prime. His reaction comes barely 24 hours after the three students of the Greenfield University were discovered dead. Gunmen have attacked the country home of Imo State Governor Opu Zodima in Umuma Oru East local government area of the state. They were said to have invaded the governor's village house in the early hours of today before torching it. The Commissioner of Information in the state confirmed the attack to Channel's television via a telephone conversation. Meanwhile, seven suspected members of a militia group linked to the proscribed indigenous peoples of Biafra IPOP have been killed during a joint operation by the Nigeria Police Force, the Nigerian Army and Department of State Services in the early hours of today. Security sources confirmed the incident to Channel Television, adding that two other members were also arrested in the joint operation. On the international scene, sacked U.S. police officer Derek Chauvin will be sentenced on June the 16th for the murder of African-American George Floyd in a case that sparked nationwide anti-racism protest. The county district court in the Midwestern city of Minneapolis, where handcuffed Floyd died last May, said in its online schedule that the white former police officer will be sentenced at 1.30 p.m. And in sport, Jurgen Klopp has admitted Liverpool are not playing like a side who deserve Champions League football next season after blowing the chance to move into the Premier League's top four with a 1-1 draw against Newcastle today. Mohamed Salah had opened the scoring after just three minutes, but Liverpool wasted a host of chances to extend their lead and came in stoppage time. And that's the Evening News Recap. Don't forget to join us tomorrow for fresh updates. I'm 10-year-old Lash Shavuale. Thank you.